Welcome back guys. Today we're talking about Jabil's new PA0600 filament. So Jabil is continually getting more and more into the additive market these days and they've released a new filament called PA0600. So PA, that's nylon, we all knew that, and then 0600, let's look a little more into this. Now Jabil claims that the new material delivers high strength and stiffness required for aerospace, automotive, and manufacturing applications, and they designed it as a replacement for Delrin or POM or acetal, which is a super widely used material in all of these industries, especially in manufacturing. Now they're saying that it meets the same general requirements for durable, repetitive use parts, including gears and screws with detailed threads and knurling. Now one of the big claims of this filament is the lack of the risk of exposure to formaldehyde emissions when the material is overheated. The new Jabil filament is made without formaldehyde, so there's no release of noxious fumes or odors during the printing. Now this is one of the reasons POM is actually terrible to print. If you go about five Celsius too hot, you could be gassing the entire room with toxic fumes. Now, if you haven't tried already, POM is also nearly impossible to print anything complex. But don't take my word for it. Just do a Google search and see people's attempts on forums and message boards. This stuff really just isn't good for 3D printing. Now, I compared a couple different data sheets from Jabil, Sabic, and other manufacturing conglomerate comparison charts, and based on what I found at the 1.8 megapascal testing, there are less than half the thermal deflection around 43 Celsius. Now, at the same time, the melting temperature is around the same as POM, so we'll have to see how it really stacks up. Regardless, either way, this is great news for the manufacturing industry since it seems like everybody and their mom wants to print POM. Now, other options are out there depending on what you're looking for, and materials like HTN or PCTG from Ascentium or PVDF, PC, even regular nylon itself can be used. There's a lot of different factors from machinability to chemical resistance and wear resistance and even thermal deflection, but there's definitely options out there and I'll have to get my hands on a spool of this to see how well it really works. Check out all our materials at visionminer.com slash materials. We've got a huge selection of engineering filaments and a rewards program and everything else you could need. We specialize in high temp, high performance metal replacement polymers and in industrial 3D printers. If you've got any questions, definitely reach out at visionminer.com. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.